Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Farming Simulator 17 where we are in the Case IH Axial Flow 1660. We have head tracking on, oh yes. And uh, we're gonna actually hire a worker. So he's gonna go off and do our harvest for us. We are going to do... Is this hooked up? Okay, so this is now hooked up. We're going to hold off in the case 1455 XL here. Yes, I'm going to be using hired workers and whatnot. I should say this save game is on normal difficulty. I'm not going to play it on, on hard. Uh, I think I've got everything else set up to hard. Let me just check. I do have the radio off for now. I will fix that uh, soon. I'm going to turn off the help icons because I have that sorted. Dollar is going to be the memory, uh, the money unit. Interactive zone markers will be good. I don't want to switch to trains just yet. Uh, plant growth normal. Periodic plowing required. And we'll have three fertilizer states. Awesome. So the harvester's going to head off. And I'm already missing me inspector mods and all that kind of stuff. New Hot 8340 here is going to be on cultivating duty. So we'll get it started off and send a hired worker off again. Gonna get as lot done as possible. I wanna... Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice. I don't know how well it's coming across in the video. Um, this is my first, literally my first time playing the game. Um, so, there will be derpage, there will be silliness, and there will be madness. So this guy is... Ah, it looks a lot nicer than I... That looks really nice, actually. <laughs> How full are you? 19%. You're good for a while yet. Um, let's see what else we have. We have a case 1455 here. That needs... Ah, we, we can sew with this one. We'll actually do something manually. So we'll sew with this, and I believe the cedar is a Great Plains cedar. Um, this is basically going to be an uncut first half hour or so of me playing FS17. Um, it is currently a quarter to eleven at night. Um, last night, in fact. And I am over the moon that I have the game now. <laughs> I've literally been hyper all day, I've been excited all day for this. And um, now that I have it, I am um, I could not be happier. Uh, now the version I'm currently playing, right this second, is the Giant Strike download. Does this thing have? It does not have ridge markers. Okay. The version I'm currently playing is the Giant Strike download. I am also, and this is going to be a complaint immediately playing on keyboard and mouse because for some reason my controllers won't work. Um, my G27, for whatever reason, I could be something I've done, could be something the game's done, but for whatever reason, it's refusing to pick up the pedals on the G27 as all being separate. Um, my joystick, if it picks it up, it picks it up as being everything for some reason. And as a result, it's a real pain to bind the controls, so that's something I'll do tomorrow. Today, well, today, as you guys are watching this, um, just to get things going. Um, so, there, unfortunately, there are teething pains. And I should say that I'm not running without mods already. Because <laughs> I have the crop destruction mod in the game and turned on. I have crop destruction already, and it's less than an hour since launch. So, yeah. Um, in fact, let's go through what mods I actually have. Uh, can I show you just the mods 
Uh, apparently not. But I have some... Yes, I can. Got some placeable sheds here. Uh, these are all in-game, default and movable, which is lovely. I've got the Meng Mengele that I love so, so much. Uh, no weights, no cars. By the way, this little pickup rodeo, I love it. Um, I will be get trying to get one of everything in this map. Did I get anything in here? A lot of animals. Oh, it's because they just lumped everything under animals this time. Okay. Uh, got the New Holland we, uh, telehandler. It's probably going to be the mana tool I'll use or the Lieber. Just because they're cheaper. I don't have any model wheel loaders. I do have the IT runner pack again. Um, that is now a mod. In bail handling, we got the Bratner DW, PW 1800, the Coon baler that I love so much, and two red New Holland balers. A loading wagons, I've got the Mangelas, I've already said. Wind drawers, I don't have anything. Tethers, I've got the Condi Master 8331 by, I believe, BM modding. Uh, Moors, there's nothing there that I have. But I will be using the disc bind, don't you worry. Uh, do I have anything in slurry tanks? Yes, I've got the big Flegel tank and a slurry container. And again, the IT runner stuff is a mod now. It's a, basically a free DLC, which is really nice. In cultivators, the trio on the top down 500. In plows, the AB85 Cavernland. In tippers, I believe we've got a few. Yes. Got the Fortuna FTM 1600, all the IT runner stuff, and the Vinhui W400. And in Forage Harvesters, I've got the big X1100, the big boy, which has all the setters at a Stark. And oh, and the fence as well. The fence pack, which is basically just these Massies. Just the two Massies that have been reskinned. Um. In trucks, there's nothing. In front loader, is I get a mod of front loader? No. Oh, that Kramer looks adorable. I might get that as my first telehandler kind of machine thing. But in tractors, and this is where the giant strike download really has won me over. I have the Challenger MT700E Field Viper. The Challenger Tank Tour MT800E Field Python. This is Tank Tour now. The Challenger MT900E Field Anaconda, the Massey Ferguson 8700 Black Edition with dual tires, and the Cowmobile, the Valtra T Series Cow Edition. They will most likely all be on the map at some stage or another. But for now, I forgot I had head tracking on, which actually, by the way, if you've got head tracking on and I am using Track Hat, which is slightly different from Track IR. If you use head tracking, it does disable using the mouse to look around in cab. Literally all the movement you're seeing is my head. Um, and I kind of like that, I must admit. That was the wrong button. Uh, I best check up on the harvester, which is full. So we'll go along in this 1455XL here. Uh, the harvester is not full, in fact it is nearly full. And I, I love the sounds and the way their vehicles react in this game so far. It's really just amazing. It, I'm completely shocked. Hopefully we'll get to see something really cool here. So I'm going to zoom in on the tires of this trailer. I'm hoping this happens. I'm really hoping this happens. Oh, crap on a cracker. I forgot I had crop destruction on. Flee, flee, flee. So, what you might be able to see is that the rear wheels of this trailer are ever so slightly bowed out at the bottom. And maybe the same on the tractor. Yep. Uh, apparently it really shows off nicely on the harvester, so I'm going to try and get... Oh, wow, it does. The front wheels of the harvester are really low. They almost look flat. Um, but that is the the new wheel shader in effect. You can hear the the gravel is making noises, the dirt is making noises, and unfortunately it sounds like gravel. Uh, don't worry, by the way, because we will be getting a... I'm actually hoping I'm getting a round baler fairly quickly. 
just gonna wait for the harvester to come up beside me here. Whoops, I think I bought the harvester. So let's get this all in. There we go. Let's see if the, the wheels are actually. Yes, you can see the wheels are now set. The tires are starting to build more and more under the weight of the crop in the trailer. Uh, which is really nice. Um, so the tires now actually do react to the ground and, and stuff going on. I think the harvest is a bit confused because of the... Yeah, it's a bit confused, so I'll just take over for a second. And finish off this line here. Now, one thing I have found is that uh, one thing I have discovered or learned already, I should say, before I got the game, is that you can't unload a harvester when it's stopped and turned off because of the tip anywhere. So you have to be in the harvester or somebody has to be in the harvester for it to unload correctly because of the new tip anywhere mechanics. Speaking of which, this trailer is pretty much full, which means we need to put our grain down somewhere. There's a central t tipping point. However, however, I have plans. Oh, do I have plans. So what we're going to do, in fact, is we're going to reverse in here. We're not going to reverse in at all. We're going to drive in here because this thing is a dolly trailer and I, I'm terrible at driving them. And we are going to... The tip side is the back, which is good. Uh, for those of you who, who love the toggle tip side mod in the past, it is already there. For those of you who like placeable piles and tip anywhere, and I'll tip. Can I actually do... Yes. For those of you who like uh, tip anywhere, and I'll tip or whatever, and toggle tip sides, your dreams have been answered, ladies and gentlemen. You've got what you want. My prayers have been answered. Because not only is that a pile that I've just generated in the game, but it's a pile that is dynamically generated in the game. And uh, that I really like. Um, I am guessing, however, that the issues I've been. Oh, there's in cab sounds too. Uh, I am guessing, however. That the issue I've been having with the G27 and the joystick may be a kind of localized issues to me for whatever reason. Now the hired workers, I should say, if I go back to the other case, because this one's going to show it off better. The hired workers are a bit more intelligent now. I should have put this guy on a, a hired worker as well. I know that I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm demonstrating stuff. The hired workers are a lot more intelligent if you've got a trailed piece of equipment. They will actually know that it's trailed, and they'll try and minimize the amount of stuff that they miss. Now, they might, this guy might miss quite a bit down here, because my driving wasn't very straight. So, helper F is blocked by an object. Which one's helper F? None of them are helper F. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take this pickup, and... We are going to drive down to the shop, or up to the shop. Where is the shop? Yeah, we're going to drive down to the shop. Where... Uh, what was it that I wanted to buy? I wanted to buy something straight away. Oh, there's two things I want to buy straight away. This thing is going 75 miles an hour. Oh, dear. Um, this way. This way, Dave. Driving the correct side of the road, Dave. So we're going to head to the shop where uh, 
we're gonna pick up a couple of a couple uh, of conveyor belts. Sorry, trying to do like twelve things at once. I forgot the head tracking was on. We're gonna pick up a couple of conveyor belts, and is that the shop there? That in fact is the shop. Somebody just said hello to me. Did you say hello to me, miss? Um. Hello. Thank you. That's not terrifying. So we are going to pick up uh, some belt systems. We're going to need the S710. In there's no pink, the, the green, and we're going to buy that for fifty-one hundred dollars. Also going to buy. Okay, so we're going to need this one. No, this this one maybe. Conveyor belts are an alternative. Oh, this one. And we're going to buy that too. So I'm possibly starting off in the most horrible way anybody can ever imagine. By deciding to get conveyor belts and use nothing but the placeable... Or the alternative piles everywhere. Or tip anywhere stuff everywhere. Uh, but that's the way I want to play the game. So if... if you're not a fan of that, I do apologize. Um, I honestly think that it's going to be the most fun way to play the game. Because you can't... Ah, that doesn't attach, does it? Okay. I, I kind of think that this is going to be the best way for me to play the game. Because I do like having the ability to tip anything anywhere. Um... So this is going to be two trips. I was hoping it would just be one. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll do the second trip later on. And just set this thing up in a field somewhere. Um, because I... Or not in a field. In, in the... Whoops. In the shed. Uh, because I want to show off how it works. Hopefully I'm actually going to the right place here. Yes, yes I am. Kind of, maybe. Yes. So if I bring this over with the pickup. I don't know how much is in the central store, but I want to show off how this thing works. If I put it into the pile like so, it'll start picking it up. And it'll fill up to a certain point and then stop. So I can actually drop it there entirely. Something fun that uh, one that Brad M73 found out is that I can do this. <sighs> and yes, I am driving the conveyor belt. Apparently this way is forward for it. But you can drive the conveyor belts if you're so inclined. Um, I'm guessing it's so that you can get them lined up just exactly how you want. Uh, we should probably hop in over to this guy. Because the harvester's probably getting full again. And yeah, it is getting full again. Now it is going to be on its final pass momentarily, which is nice. And, oh, we're going to have to pick up those little scraggly bits. Alright, we shouldn't be in the way of the harvester, but just to be on the safe side, I'll reverse a bit. In theory, it should avoid hitting us. In theory. In practice, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, it didn't, in fact, avoid hitting us, which is nice. And then it drove straight into a bit of feel. Lovely, thank you Harvester. So comes the pipe and we're going to take off at 10 kilometers an hour which is the speed that the 
the harvest is at. Harvester goes at. Uh, that's roughly six and a half miles an hour for those of you using nonsensical random mile things. Um, the first thoughts on the game, the first impressions for the first from the first twenty minutes, which has actually been closer to an hour, including all the time I spent faffing around trying to get stuff to work. Uh, the control setup is atrocious right now, although that could be an issue on my end. Um, my experience with it hasn't been positive at all. Uh, might be different for you guys. Do you have to turn to dismiss the worker or? Okay. Uh, my experience with setting up the controls hasn't worked quite yet, um, which is a shame. The hired workers do seem to be a lot smarter. Um, the sound is amazing. I mean. That sounds a lot more like dirt now, not gravel, which is nice. Um, it seems like almost everything has its own noise, which is just amazing. I probably need to choose the tip side to be the left here. And then I need to tip. I Can, can I tip? Where can I tip? Why can't I tip? Oh, I'm gonna have a fight with this trailer. Let's drive around and try unloading over here, I guess. Oh, I'm guessing you have to do the the tip anywhere every single time, then, which is. Not perfect, but I can accept it. Uh, what now? Now we need to go check on our hard workers, I guess. Because we got the first harvest officially done. Um, we can move this harvester back to the farm. I believe it's... Oh, I'm not even... Slice of the pipe. We'll just put the harvester in here for the time being. Just so that it's out of the weather. And we'll leave that there. Um, we will need to pick up the straw somehow. I do want to. Which means we'll need this guy on a different trailer. Um, which means we gotta go back up to the shop. Nuts. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the shop, grab the conveyor that's up there, and grab myself... You know what I'll do first is I'll check out the loan. How do you access the loan? Uh, it must be in the pause menu. Somewhere. Potentially. Finances. Uh, so we got a $75,000 loan because we're on medium. Bring up to $50,000 in the bank. And buy ourselves a baler. Uh, hopefully this will work. We'll use one of the red ones. Uh, no, we won't because they're too expensive. Uh, okay. So we'll just buy a f loading wagon. I guess we'll use the Pottinger Eurobus again. We'll buy that. Because I'm not really willing to lease it. And I'll come back to you guys when we have the loading wagon in the uh, in the yard. We're back from the shop, so I'll see you guys then. While I'm on the way over to the shop, I should probably just let you guys know uh, the roleplay will return in time. Uh, I'm just kind of, I guess, making sure that uh, I can get you guys videos as soon as humanly possible of FS17 of the new game uh, so don't worry the roleplay will return sometimes I need you know some time to just get it set up um, pretty much all of the content is going to be on this map for the time being 
but I'm sure you guys will, you know, I'm sure you guys are looking forward to seeing me struggling and hopefully with the wheel um, and with head tracking enabled from now on because I mean if I can do this I do apologize because this is I'm gonna have to turn around slightly because the microphone's behind me now if you know if I can do that now I'm gonna do it a lot I'm gonna actually have to move my microphone over here-ish so that it works a bit better um, so we're at the shop I'll Grab the loading wagon first and then we'll come back probably later today because there will be a second video if I'm awake in time. Be back later today for the conveyor belt. So I'll head back to the, the farm and I'll see you guys then. Alright, so we're back at the farm now and we have the loading wagon with us, of course. So let's get ready to rumble with the straw. Is that running? It is running. Okay. Makes some interesting noises. Um, it's been a while since I've played with keyboard and mouse and before Stu in Farm Sim. I lie, actually. It was last night we were... Yeah, never mind. Uh, well, the night before last, I guess, when this goes out. It was... The fun was had. Chaos happened and fun was had. So we're going to collect up all the straw here. I won't make you watch it all. This is just to grab some money together. Uh, for the future. I think next time what we'll do is we'll have to invest in the fertilizer spreader and we might do a mission or two. And if there's enough time left, what I'll do is... Um, oh dang it, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to sell the crops as well, next time. Potentially. Uh, we will be using the train in time, don't you worry. When we get up and running fully, the trains will be in use. We will use everything available to us. Uh, we will be doing forestry, we will be doing everything the game has to offer. It's just a case of time, and when the time is right, they'll all be involved. Uh, among other things, there are other plans that I haven't mentioned quite yet. I shouldn't have moved my microphone so far away. It's better here. So, apologies for the section of the video that was quite quiet. Um, but yeah, next time what we'll do is we'll try and get as much done as possible. We'll do a mission, hopefully. Um, we'll do some fertilizing. We'll finish getting these fields sorted. Uh, looks like that field over there has been cultivated now. So the seed will be going on that, the cultivator will be coming over here. Uh, the fertilizer spreader will be going over to the field we just well, were currently seeding that I did a bit of seeding on. And we will be hopefully setting off our crops as well with the conveyor belt. And seeing what's actually in the main grain store as well, because I didn't actually check when I was doing it. So I think I'm going to leave it here for now guys, I'll finish this field off camera. Um, because it's, it, you know, it's going to work the same way as in 15. In fact, I'll just, I'll just sell some at the barn right now, because the barn is literally here for selling the straw. I'll turn it off real quick. And, uh, for those of you who like driving through things, you now can. Which is lovely. I forgot that they've changed this to I. So you can drive through the barn nice and quickly sell off all your straw and get your $1,200 harvest income. Or $1,250 harvest income. So I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, I'll leave you by saying I've been Rainbow Dave. You've been watching Farming Simulator 17 on Crest Valley aka Butterville because it sounds like a brand of butter. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.